Shalom family. So because we're in that final week, because we're at the end of the time of mankind, you are now seeing everything come out of the woodwork. The enemy is no longer playing. He's not an R&R. &R, he's not relaxing. He's out and out going full kilter to the wall, just going all out because he knows his time is short and he's seeking whom he can devour in the process. All his plans are fitting into place. And those of us who are awake can see it clearly. One of these is to cast as much doubt on the truth and the word of God as humanly possible. And this little thing that I'm going to share with you now is a small, inconsequential thing, but it's aimed at people who are not thinking too much and are willing to accept what's written down and go, oh yeah, no, that makes sense. So listen to this. It seems like an innocent article. 15 historical figures who may not have existed. That's how the article starts. And this just popped up on my feed. This is not even something I was searching for. This has been pushed out to people. Time has a way of smudging the line between myth and reality. We assume that history books are filled with hard facts. No, we know they're written by the victors. But they can be surprisingly unreliable and even veer into fiction. These 15 historical figures may be legendary but are they more than myths? They're probably myths. Number one, William Shakespeare. Number two, Pope Joan, the woman who convinced everyone she was a man and then uh, got caught out, and which is why they've got a whole little ritual they do to make sure that it's a man who's becoming Pope. William Tell, Mulan, Lycurgus, the Spartan lawgiver. Lao Lozi Dun, he is the founder of Confucianism, Buddhism, and Taoism. Pythagoras, the Greek philosopher. Saint Christopher, patron saint of travelers for the Catholics. Confucius, King Arthur, Homer, the epic poems of the Iliad and the Odyssey that we know. Kunta Kinta, the African man sold into slavery in America. They made a whole story about that and books written and everything. Robin Hood. Okay, so so far you're saying to me, okay, some of these are weird. They, they definitely were historical characters. Others are definitely not and so on and so forth. Here's the last two that they've added to the list. Are you ready for this? Moses. According to Christian scripture, God spoke to him and told him to lead his chosen people out of Egypt. But there's little evidence to suggest that the great Exodus or Moses miracles happened. And scholars have yet to find conclusive archaeological traces of Moses himself. Some staunch believers argue that there was a man named Moses who helped a few thousand slaves escape from Egypt. So even making that as small as possible. But others state it is very unlikely that the biblical story has any truth to it. King Solomon. While scholars have been able to prove the existence of later biblical kings, many believe that Solomon is an outright myth. But the debate was reignited in 2021 when British marine archaeologist Dr. Sean Kingsley claimed to have found traces of Solomon's empire in the Mediterranean. Plus, a 2023 study revealed new archaeological evidence to support he did in fact reign in the early 10th century BCE. We talked about more evidence now yesterday, day before, of Solomon. But they want to cast doubt on the fact that Moses existed, King Solomon existed. Guess who's next? Jesus existed. They're going to do as much as they can to cast as much doubt as they can on the truth so that they can keep people in darkness and fear and uncertainty and guide them to something they can see, touch, feel, experience, which is lying at the door for them to lead them to darkness and destruction and death. And this is why we so adamantly and strongly are working on just getting the message out there doing the Great Commission, spreading what Jesus told us to spread, taking that message to the world, handing out Bibles for free, not selling them, doing everything we can to push back 
against this encroaching darkness for as long as we can because the time is short and we are redeeming the time we are not asleep we are awake and we're being wise and we're being faithful to our god pray for all of those that get taken in by rubbish like this that gets pushed across their desks shalom